So the Niners lost to very more. They signed Tony Jefferson. But they kind of played different positions. Tony Jefferson's a strong safety. Uh, Moore is more of like a free safety cornerback hybrid. Do you think the Niners need to sign another safety? Why or why not? Um, I think it just depends on how <clears throat> how guys are performing. Um, they have, I mean, they signed, they have already that, that I keep forgetting the corner that they signed earlier in the season um, when they signed, re- re-signed um, uh, Williams, but like... Uh, Ken Webster? All, <laughs> well, I forget. I forget. And then also the, the guy they drafted, you know, is there as well. So um, the the safeties that are still out on the market, it's a little bit thin um, as far as who's there. Um, I don't know if they'd be able to pick up somebody that would still make the roster, uh, to be honest. So uh, I think they just go with what they have and then, you know, kind of see hope that somebody steps up. But we'll see. I think they definitely have to sign a safety just because uh, I was looking at the reserves and I know or we don't know if D'Amico Renz is going to run the exact uh, defense that Robert Sala had. But they like versatility between the two safeties of having one go down into the box and the other one go up top. And if mm-hmm. one of Jaquaski Tart or Jimmy Ward goes down, the other guy has to be the single high safety because mm-hmm. Talanoa Hufunga, I think, is more of a box safety. Tony Jefferson's more of a box safety. Yep. Tavon Wilson's been a special teamer slash strong safety in his career, really. And then it brings you to it, Marcel Harris, who, I mean, everyone's lasting impression of him is that Green Bay Thursday night game, and I think he's still chasing Marquez Valdez-Scantling <laughs> down. And yes, then – Diamador Lenore, who's been a corner specifically in college. I know some people have said he could play free safety in the NFL, but are you really going to throw him into the fire in a new position right away? So I think they have to look at someone like Malik Cooker, who he himself has a lot of injury history. Or Trey Boston. It, Trey Boston is a talent. And uh, even if I, – I know this will get you angry, Grant. If Richard Sherman is finally able to – Resign. As safety, I'm into it. As safety, yeah. I'm open minded. Yeah. If, he, okay. if he's right. the third safety, it, that'd be definitely uh, cool. an interesting, and I think he could handle that role. Uh, I just don't know if the defense can trust Marcel Harris or Tavon Wilson playing single high when DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett are running a streak. It, it, it's a touchdown. Yeah, you're right. You know, I don't. I don't think there's really anybody that's out there on the free agent market. That, that's better than what the 49ers have on the roster. So, you know, I'm going to say no at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, Matt brings up some really good points as far as the box safeties. And I know I've been down on Hufanga as a safety as well. I kind of think he needs, needs to be more of a linebacker. But w- when you look at Hufanga, for example, he's a guy who plays really well with the ball in front of him. So if you get him as a as your as your high safety and get him back there so that he has everything in front of him where he's not having to turn and run with people and everything's in front of him so he can attack forward, I think he'd be okay. He's still going to struggle a little bit at angles and those kind of things, but he could possibly do it. Uh, you know, Tony Jefferson is kind of a similar type of a player from everything I've heard, but I, I really don't see anybody that's out there for them to, to bring. So at this point, you know, saying that I think they need to bring somebody in, I don't have anybody that I can I can suggest. So I think it's it's they, they have a lot of depth at that position. Um, it does hurt them that they lost more because of his flexibility, but I think they've got some other guys there that can handle the job. Yeah, I think – other than Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart, the only safety on the team who could really play single high is Moore. Um, so they need to replace that. Uh, and even Richard Sherman, could he do it? Maybe. But I think you'd like a little bit more range. And the thing about DBs is you want guys who are like 25 at DB. So those guys aren't available. It's really hard. What the Niners need is Jared Baden to step up. That was an undrafted free agent last year. He played free safety and nickel in camp. I thought he looked good, but he's like one of these undrafted free agents who might do something like Kevin Givens down the line. If he could turn it, he has a similar skill set to Tavarius Moore. He's not as fast or as physically gifted, but he started at Alabama. Um, If Jared Maiden steps up, they're okay. Otherwise, they got a bunch of strong safeties in Jimmy Ward. That's where we're at. Martin says, can't wait for the cone phone injury at rehab. A rehab, that's French, is my wheelhouse, my man. Stay tuned. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Martin Donaldson.